Hi, and welcome to Breezy, the website builder that anyone can use. I'm Dimi, and today I'll show you some new creative ways to use pop-ups on your website. When we think of pop-ups, we usually think lead generation or subscriptions to our mailing list. But you can leverage pop-ups to do much, much more. And today we'll cover a couple of ideas on how to do just that. But before we get started, if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, consider doing that right now. More than half of our visitors are not subscribed and I hope we'll earn your subscription today. We post videos like this weekly and if you also hit that notification bell, you'll be the first to see them when they go up. On with the video. Let me show you what we'll build today using pop-ups. A cool website menu like this. A back to top button and a notification bar. Let's get into it. Let's start with the menu in a pop up. I'm in the Breezy Builder right now. As you can see, I've created this uh, header that we'll use uh, to open our pop up. We we'll need to add a link that will open a pop up. We, you can use uh, either a text or a button or an icon. I'll choose an icon and we'll make it a um, menu icon. Make it smaller. And uh, we'll open a pop-up here, switch to pop-up and create your own. This is the standard pop-up in Breezy. Let's uh, start creating our uh, awesome menu. I'll drag the opacity of the pop-up to zero so we can see the website behind. I've also created two images that we'll use today. Put this on zero as well. And use this background for our menu. Let's make our pop-up full height first. So here on the height, you'll switch from auto to full height. And on width, we'll put uh, 460 pixels. Okay, so we have the background of our pop-up. Now we need a menu. Uh, let's drag a menu element. I'll switch this to my main menu and also the orientation. Let's play with the fonts a bit, maybe 24. And uh, bold works great. And we'll want some uh, spacings between the items. And the items uh, will want uh, the text on hover to be white. And that's about it. What I've uh, forgot is to to move our close button inside our pop-up. And we'll play with it a bit, just to position it exactly where we want it. And I think we want it a bit larger, maybe 24. And let's make it uh, dark and make it uh, white on hover. Excellent. And now let's switch back to full height. And this is our menu in a pop-up. Let's save it and preview it on the front end. This is our front end. And when you click your menu icon, your nice and creative pop-up will appear with your menu and you can jump to a different page on your website. Let's go to the next pop-up. 
for our back to top button in a pop-up you'll need to go to your wordpress admin then breezy and pop-ups add new let's call it back to top publish it and then edit it with breezy create your own and here we'll need to create a button uh, that will, uh, uh, when the users will click it, uh, the, the browser will uh, smooth scroll to your, to your uh, top of the page. Let's add a, a button or a text. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll go with an icon because we, we can use a, a nice arrow. Let's choose a upwards arrow and maybe give it a background. We want it to be smaller. I think maybe 26 works. That looks nice. And let's play with the colors a bit. On the background, we'll go with uh, white. the hover can be this nice orange but with uh, we also need to change the icon color on hover and we'll make it white looks great and now we have to position this uh, this icon uh, near the bottom of your page here in the in the top uh, main uh, options you have this align options let's go with button and then let's go with left. Play with the width a bit and we'll align the icon on the left. We don't need the close button. So here on the close tab, we'll uh, We'll turn it off. We'll turn this off as well. And uh, we want uh, for you to interact with the page uh, when the pop-up appears. So we'll need to put this on uh, to enable this option. And we'll get to, to display conditions uh, a bit later. We don't want that white in the background. So let's, uh, let's bring the overlay here to zero. I think I'll need some paddings here in the in the column just to, to position the, the back to top button where where I want to and maybe a bit yeah like this and now let's play with the conditions the the overlay uh, on the pop-up we want it to be zero of course because we want to see the website and uh, here on the display conditions what you'll need to do is uh, uh, set a, a trigger condition for your pop-up and then uh, where to display it. For the trigger, I think uh, uh, on, on, on scroll trigger works uh, great in this case. So we'll put here on scroll, on scroll down and here we'll put the, the percentage of the page uh, we want the, the icon to appear. I think uh, 20 or 30% uh, works great. And then hit a save. And on the conditions tab, uh, you'll select on what pages you want uh, this pop-up to be triggered. And of course, we want the back to top button on all the pages. So we'll leave it like this and hit the save and then hit an update. And let's go on the front end to see our back to top pop-up in action. On the front end, if we scroll, we'll see our back to top pop-up appear. Of course, when you click it, nothing happens and we'll fix that right away. Let's go to the builder and here on the icon in the link, we'll need to put hashtag and the name of the header or the block where you want to, uh, where you want the link to scroll to. Uh, in our case here, we'll put header and we'll uh, need to have this exact same name on uh, the block uh, on our page. So I'll hit an update here. 
and let's go back to the dashboard pages our home page and here on the header block under more settings we'll need to put header here update and back to the front end when we scroll our back to the top appears and when you click it it will smooth scroll to the top of your page this is it let's go to our next pop-up for our notification bar pop-up you'll go to your dashboard then uh, breezy pop-ups and we'll create a new pop-up we'll call it uh, uh, let's call it actually black friday since black friday is just around the corner we'll create a notification bar a, a deal that you'll have on your website publish it and then edit it with breezy create your own and since you have a deal on uh, black friday let's add here a text and say uh, Black Friday 50% off on all products get it now let's uh, play with it a bit align it looks great maybe make it bold Let's play with the colors a bit to give it uh, some uh, some life. Okay, I'll make this black and maybe this uh, get it now button. Let's do it uh, like this. The close button will uh, want it inside. I think I, I want to remove some paddings from the section here just to make it a bit uh, smaller in height excellent let's play with uh, with the conditions here uh, we want you to interact with the uh, with the page so uh, uh, users will need to click things scroll and uh, click certain buttons on the page so you'll have to have this enabled on the close side uh, you can actually add a delay here if you want your uh, close uh, button to appear after a certain number of seconds so to make sure that your users see this uh, notification you'll you'll play with this but i leave it at zero uh, we don't want to click outside to close and on the display conditions the trigger needs to be uh, it can be many things on scroll but we've used that already let's let's make it on page load uh, what this means is that uh, once the page is loaded after one second uh, this pop-up will uh, will be displayed but one second is uh, I, I think five three or five works works best Let's put it on five, hit a save, and then on conditions, uh, you want this to appear on all the pages. But maybe if you don't want, for example, if you have a, a Black Friday page and you don't want this notification to appear on that page, you'll add a new condition here. If you click this include, it will switch to exclude on pages and you'll select here uh, your Black Friday page. So uh, this pop up will appear on all the pages except the Black Friday page. Hit the save and let's position it on the bottom. I think uh, we can do 100% uh, with here. I'll put the overlay so we can see the website behind and uh, just a neat cool trick if you want to, to use it. I, uh, I like it a lot here on the on the section 
in the advanced tab you can uh, set the entrance animation so if we put uh, let's say um, fading up works uh, with this your pop-up will uh, will uh, scroll and fade in what we forgot to add is a, a link on your on your text here get it now so you'll put an url uh, to your pricing page or to your deal page but you can also add this uh, url on the column or uh, all, on all the text uh, you'll have to see how it suits uh, for your needs i'll put a hashtag here hit an update and let's go to the front end on our front end the page is loaded and after five seconds we should see our pop-up appear and it does and this was our notification bar pop-up i hope you found this video helpful if you did please consider subscribing to our youtube channel for more videos like this in the future i'll see you in the next one